It is a question that many are asking right now. If the, in the early days of this pandemic, were public officials giving the wrong directive, sending the wrong message? And would that have continued to spread the coronavirus? CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer takes a look. Westchester officials dined at a New Rochelle kosher Chinese restaurant over three weeks ago. No six degrees of separation to show support for businesses in the hard hit community. We are here to demonstrate support for and confidence in a neighborhood and a business community that has borne an especially heavy burden. Some say it was the wrong message that others in government are guilty of the same thing. President Trump was certainly slow on the uptake, and for months, Mayor de Blasio told city residents not to change their lifestyle. It's important to go about your lives, uh, continue living as you have. New Yorkers should go about our lives, continue doing what we do. This should not stop you from going about your life, should not stop you from going to Chinatown and going out to eat. We want people still to go on about their lives. CBS2 urban affairs expert Mark Peters says the mayor's actions are a combination of a reluctance to panic people and a deep-seated reluctance to rely on the advice of experts. He says there's a big difference between de Blasio and Westchester officials eating Chinese food. The mayor of New York has access to the best public health and epidemiology experts in the world. So that should have allowed him to move a little faster. Governor Cuomo was also asked if he moved too slowly. I think we were one of the first to shut it down. Also, you want to do it in a way that doesn't create more fear and more panic. Mayor de Blasio says that critics shouldn't question him about telling New Yorkers to go about their lives until, quote, this war is over. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.